Hello, this is Zevviews8, ladies and gentlemen who do not know me, I am a Who List Editor Level 1 Booyah! And am recruiting Editor Level 1s and Editor Level 2s to be recruited for my channel to promote them and in turn for them to promote Who List and for Who List to promote me, so on and so forth. It will be really great. When I can have my Wii back with all the games I had to send them. I had to send them three games from my GameCube and the two that I've been playing the most. The Godfather and Modern Warfare 3, along with one of the GameCube ones that I've been playing the most, obviously. Also, what's not so great is that it's going to be gone. We're all going to have to deal with it. So, deal with it. The good news is, I'm going to make dealing with this a lot easier. Because I'm recruiting editors from level 1 to level 2 to do my channel and their own channels to become very big. And this gameplay is awesome too, so I hope you like it. The voice acting is great. The gameplay itself is great. We started off with a mission. We need to get Tom Hagen out of his little predicament that he got himself into. Namely, he got kidnapped by the Tatalias for insurance that you should come and rescue him. Hoping that the Dai is dead, they would give him back. If Dai isn't dead, they would kill him. And to rescue him, we're gonna have to go sort of commando, if you know what I mean. Silent, stealthy deaths and kills. Blow everything up. Yeah, it's sad. No, not really. First we our bank, then we run away from cops, then we go to Clemenza's house. house, then we lose all our bank money because we didn't go to a safe house. What happens is then we have to do some James Bond sneaking around. Do -do -do. James Bond sneaking around. They have a couple missions like this. And choke everyone out. Then see an awesome cutscene. And afterwards, blast everything that moves in top. And then my Wii breaks. So that's basically the video. That doesn't mean you shouldn't watch it. Because I'll give you a lot more tips and different things. Starting right about now. What you're gonna do after you open this door is not choose civilian like I did. What you're gonna do is shoot the first cop, which is gonna be behind you. Don't let him shoot you. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hope against hope. This, this type doesn't happen to you, and you don't want to have time or something, <laughs> and the want? entire police comes after you, and you almost die. No, what you're gonna do next is shoot the guy with the shotgun, and then the other guy with the pistol, or the Tommy gun. It matters which bank you rob. I wish robbing banks were the same in real life. No, not really. I do not condone any robbing of banks or any other miscellaneous horrible activity that is shown in this video or any other of my videos. It's just a game. Don't do this stuff in real life. It's freaking dangerous, people. Freaking dangerous! Case in point, all the stuff that I just did now being almost killed by cops. What we're gonna do is run away, obviously. We have to get from point A to point B fast, which is a straight line. As straight as we can get it, we need to get to Brooklyn. Besides that, we should probably go through our own territory in the first place, so we don't get, so we can actually get a little bit of backup from our guys. If you go through your own territory where you own shops, the people who just stand around there all day, they're not like lazy bubs that just stand around there all day for nothing, they'll actually do stuff for you. So when your car comes rolling through that, thundering through with a billion cop cars behind it, sirens ringing, bullets flying, shotguns blazing, Everyone's freaking out, running over people, people screaming, people dying, everything's happening. Here in a moment, you guys will come through and give you some leeway and blast the police. So you can get away, at least from that area, up until you get through the Brooklyn Bridge. By Brooklyn Bridge, you'll see a lot of huge, gigantic, enormous trucks. Make sure you swerve by them, barely missing them, with cops on either side of you. They'll usually get blown up, spoiled, hit, dragged on, and you'll get safety. Swerve if you need to, smash them into walls if you need to, make sure they bump you up so the person on your left and your right will get totally kaput, blasto, smajingo, kabamoed by anything that he, anything and everything that he runs into. 
good part of this is the environments are almost completely destructible. So is the cars are really flimsy. You know, let's say they don't make them like they used to in the olden days. Well, in this game, the olden days, they make premium cars pretty much better than now. I don't see cars getting exploded on the street, cops chasing each other, shooting machine guns. It's obviously a parody, but still. Damn, cars are flimsy in this game. Case in point, they're always catching fire and exploding. You get my point. Some people will get confused by the largeness and sort of annoyingness of this map. I, for one, did. At one point, at least. We all get confused by something, right? If it's not puzzle from Zelda, or how to do some something or other, it's how not to die during these running away from millions of cops. Try to get through them like I just did, through the through two cars that are incoming. And use the uniqueness and really impeccable camera system this game gives you. It's really done perfectly. It just is. If you use your D-pad, you can look behind you like I just did, or you can look closely behind you by depressing slowly to get the cops on your tail. One to bump you into the other vis-a-vis. -vis. You know what I mean. To get everyone dead besides you. Comprehend? I hope so. And when your car's on fire like this, don't do what I'm about to do. Run off like an idiot and get shot off by cop cars rumbling down the road, shotgun blaring, sirens going off, bombs blasting in the air, you know, normal stuff. Ugh. The my lady, I didn't just hit that lady, the lady just got hit by a shotgun shell from the cop. Right here, my favorite part is to swerve. Right upcoming, so you'll let go of the beat button, so you'll start losing speed, we will swerve right here. I didn't really pull it off very well this one, but it makes it all the funnier. Yeah, in this scene, you see those two uh, posts over there? That's the same exact post where you will encounter a cutscene where Sonny Corleone gets gunned down by those gangsters hanging in the, the toll post area. Right in this place, we're gonna venture into Clemenza's house. Lose all our bank money, but it's okay. If you do do this, there's usually a guy standing on the left side of the road, fat dude, carrying a briefcase. Film full, film full of lead. Take his money, he has like 5,000 bucks in there. Yeah, You'll need hello. it. To buy safe houses yeah, and the like, Omega. which I still need to do. Which I'll do in the next Godfather game, but... By this part, for those of you who haven't watched the movie, a lot of these going in the cars, they'll have conversations in like a third person, talking to him, but it's really talking to you, which will let you in and let you know what's basically gonna about to happen if you haven't seen the movie Red Box, which I think is a very good story choice and a very good way to make a game. The cover mechanic is amazing, and the what you'll see right about here is your... Clemenza and the other guy, I forgot his name right now, but they will really cover fire for you. When you're ducking under something, Clemenza will blast someone with a shotgun. He'll come, um, the other guy will come running, I think it's Poligato. Poligato will come running out and just straight front sort of shooting at the other gangsters that are shooting you while you take cover. Some of the Call of Duties even recently can't keep this mechanic where your teammates shoot for you and stuff like that. It's quite annoying, and it really is amazing to see it in a Wii game, which everyone thinks are less good or whatever. So I couldn't, I wasn't able to make the choke mechanic work. It was very weird because I'm usually very good at this. It might have had something to do with my Wii breaking down. It might not have. I'm not really sure. The point being is, I still get the job done, and choke them all out. Then we get to see a nice cutscene, beautifully rendered of course. All in all, it's just another brick in the wall, you know? Not really. What I mean is, don't get yourself caught between two guys. Like this guy over and over there, be very careful not to get caught. See, if I would have attacked this guy right now, that guy would come running, maybe even a third guy and I would be finished, kaput, done, dead, you know what I mean. No more analogies. They're gonna get they're gonna confuse my viewers. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Who knows? I'm just here to do a gameplay. Chill out, have fun. 
You know the rest. Make sure to be all sneaky like James Bond. Helps a lot too to hum the music from GoldenEye. Not really. But if you do, it's pretty funny. I'm not going to though. I guess I'm just not that funny. Or am I? That's all I'm gonna do. I don't know why, I was just feeling extra sneaky that day to just hide behind every freaking wall. <laughs> again. I think I did it again. Even. That wall cover boy is just so irresistible to press. No, not really. My favorite line from this next scene is when this Italian mob like boss now. says, They shot him man. five times! Blood five blood times blood. and he's still not dead? That's bad luck for me. That's bad luck for you, Tom. Sorry, it's only business. That was the same line that basically started the entire game. It's only business, he's still alive. his father. Well, that's bad luck for me. The character who plays. Bad luck for you. Goodbye, Tom. Sorry. But that's not the Talia mob boss. That, I think that's so also. I'm not sure. I don't know why I'm forgetting now. They're pretty iconic and extremely different. I hope you really like this because soon we're gonna go back to Ruddy and Gunny and blowing holes into everything that doesn't move. Well, no. Everything that is moving besides Tom. Quote Clemenza, get out of the way. Because we're gonna be putting holes out into everything that ain't Tom. Hurry, yeah, my voiceover for that one is. I need to work on this. I'm usually really good. I can do a Looney Tunes. Eh, what's up, Doc? <laughs> or an annoying one. Knife. Oops. Bullet in your brain. Yeah. Not the funniest comedian, if you see. But that's not my job. My job is to do gameplays of games, which I'm doing. Right beforehand, you should try to get headshots for these guys, especially if you have low health. Not low health, but not the greatest health. And especially if they have Tommy guns. Important. I love to switch to this gun right afterwards. It's a Magnum. And it's one of the loudest, most obnoxious, most awesome, shotgun, powerful type of guns in the entire game. It wouldn't matter. You can use the most weakest gun and you would still kill him. Most weak. It's the most weak. You guys know what I mean. They give you a short speech how you're doing good. And they tell you to drive, to drive back to the compound. But we never get there because, as you'll see in like three seconds, not really three, but you know what I mean. My weed breaks. Right about now. Wow, it's pretty good at that. So this is exactly our message I got. Talked to guys over the phone. Told me to send it back. Hope you love all my reviews and gameplays and stuff that I do.